On this episode of BEA News, we'll see how the popular app TikTok could be considered a threat to national security. And we'll take a look into the Louisiana election. Then we'll spotlight Southeastern's campus, starting with a Veterans Day lecture, and we'll see what events are coming to campus. BEA News starts right now. Welcome to BEA News, I'm Kyle Orleans with your top news coverage of the week. In Louisiana news, state social service agencies say an estimated 893 children in foster care were adopted over the last year. The Department of Children and Family Services say that it's the second highest number of foster care adoptions for a single year in state history. The latest numbers are from the last October with 893 children being adopted into 661 families. In other news, the Louisiana governor's election candidates have spent millions in attack ads in hopes to sway supporters. Over the past 11 months, Abraham, Risponi, and Edwards combined have spent well over $20 million on TV commercials, direct mail pieces, and digital ads. Risponi has used Trump advertisements to support the Republican Party, but Edwards has swayed in the lead, showing ads that defend his effort to fix budget cut deficits. The election ends November 16th. Moving to national news, the trending app TikTok is worrying lawmakers. They say it could be a threat to U.S. national security. TikTok was downloaded 177 million times and is the second most downloaded app worldwide. It also made 40 million in revenue on the iOS app store and has amassed to about 100 million users in the United States. Since the app's parent company is based in China, U.S. Senators have said that it could support and cooperate with intelligence work controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. The app's owners have since said that their data centers are located entirely outside of China and none of their data is subject to Chinese law. In international news, Germany celebrates the 30th year of the fall of the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall was built to separate East and West Berlin, dividing it. It symbolized the deep ideological divide between the Soviet and West at the height of the Cold War. The wall has since been torn down and East and West Berlin citizens are now commemorating 30 years since the moment that marked the end of communism and the reunification of a country. Coming up next, we'll spotlight Veterans Day Lecture and we'll see what events are coming to campus. We'll be right back. Southeastern really offers a family type atmosphere. It's a fairly large school, but yet has a small school feel. Students get to know their faculty and staff and develop a personal relationship. And I think it's a, really a caring environment that gives students the opportunity to reach their full potential. Welcome back to BEA News. I'm Rachel Riley with your campus news. Yesterday was Veterans Day, so BEA News would like to thank all of the veterans who've served our country. To celebrate and honor our veterans, last night the History and Political Science Department at Southeastern Louisiana University held an annual Veterans Day lecture at 1 p.m. in the Student Union Theater. This event was open and free to the general public. The speaker was Jake Yunt, which is a recent graduate of Southeastern Louisiana University's Master of Arts in History program. He spoke about how Japan's conquest and creation of the Japanese Code Prosperity Circle in East Asia and in the Pacific led to internment of over 140,000 Allied soldiers. Another celebration took place in Southeastern Student Union Annex Breezeway. KSLU 90.9 FM celebrated its 45th year as Southeastern's public radio station. KSLU staff, faculty, and alumni party under the breezeway with music, cake, photos, and fun. Rumi even showed up to show some lion pride on this special day. Congratulations on 45 years, KSLU. On Wednesday, November 20th at 6 p.m., Southeastern will host a movie night at Strawberry Stadium. 
The event is in honor of the Lions football team's last regular game of the season. They will host the game against Nichols State University at home on Thursday. The game will start at 6 p.m. and Southeastern's marching band will honor our veterans with a special Veterans Day performance. International Night will be held on November 18th from 5 to 7 in the Student Union Ballroom. Bring your appetite because there will be an international buffet including various foods, beverages, and desserts. The event will include a variety show that features the talents, languages, and cultures of many Southeastern's international students. Everyone is welcome to come, so don't miss out on the fun. Well, that's all for this episode of BEA News. If you would like to find out more about BEA, visit our YouTube or Facebook by searching SELU BEA. Make sure to stay tuned for more uploads as well as press releases from Press Club on any news we didn't cover in this episode. And also, don't forget to watch our other segments like podcasting and short films. Thanks for watching. This has been Rachel Riley.